good day everybody. I don't really have a whole lot to talk about but I figured that I would pop on and make a video. Um, here's the start of our little wood shed that Shane's building. We're just gonna put some tin and some walls on on the three sides. Um, we've left Sorry about the traffic. We left this side. We're gonna move all this and leave this side open so that when we go to get, I apologize. When we go to get this tree taken out and this one, the one that I've talked about before, um, that way it's just like easier access to get that stuff because you know I have to remove the compost that's right there so they can come in that way for that one and this way so that's the reasoning behind that um, this is my little flower bed that Shane built me I think I'm gonna go up two more um, what the heck are those things called landscape timbers yeah two more of those high and I'm going to plant sun-loving, I mean shade-loving perennials back here. Because as you can see, we get all sun, or all shade. God, I'm so tongue-tied today. So, like, what's funny is I put all sun-loving plants in here this year. And all of them are super stunted because I didn't know that shade would stunt them this bad. Because, like, the sun comes up, let's see, over here, and it goes like this. So then there's shade, and then more shade, and more shade, and it sets over here. So, yeah, you can see, like, how short my zinnias are. They only come up to, like, my waist, and they should be at my shoulders. So, I thought all of this would be like a really nice privacy block, but no, it's super sun stunted. I'm like, this sunflower was a volunteer. And the head on that would be so much bigger if it got the right amount of sun. And these are my Lysianthus. I started these seeds in February, and I was super excited because they kind of look like a rose, and they're so pretty. But they would have been so much bigger and more productive if I had them any more sun, like full sun exposure area. Here's the other one. That's super pretty. So pretty. And they last a long time once they do bloom. I just didn't put them in the best spot. So, I'm gonna pause it till this semi goes by. So, um, in my life, I'm kind of going through a transition because I used to work for the Department of Child Services and it became very overwhelming for me. Um, I feel like I learned a lot of lessons and the whole reason I went to that job is because I felt like, you know, I'm a spiritual person so I felt like God was leading me to that position. He wanted me to do that even though it was super out of my comfort zone. I'm like, okay, I'll listen. And I went and I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about the world. And and I know that it's going to be super beneficial going into all the endeavors that I want to do in my life to know that. So I, I put in my two weeks and I didn't even finish my two weeks because it became way too overwhelming. Everything is super stressed out because the sun's on it. Um, so I'm going to start a new position. And it's a dramatic pay cut. I'm actually going to be doing custodial work at our local school for a while. Until I reach a point in our home business that I feel like I can quit. We have a lot of things... Um, planned that we want to do but we have to pay off some things um, and yeah I'm just I'm not gonna spoil anything 
kind of, you guys can just come along the ride with us and experience it as it unfolds. But it's going to be pretty cool, pretty fun. Every day is a learning lesson and we're just all on different paths and I'm on mine even though sometimes I'm not 100% sure of it. Just kind of got to listen to what you're being told if you're a spiritual person and got to lead you in the right way. So next year I'm going to try something different with these beds and I'm going to try because the ground likes to be covered so I'm going to try plugging in some strawberries to act as the ground cover kind of like the mulch and a couple of these raised beds and see what happens. So I took some of my starts from my other strawberries and I put them in here and I'm going to rip out all this eventually and harvest what we can use and what we can't give it to the chickens and do the same over here these beds I probably won't do the strawberry thing yet because I just want to try it out and experiment with it so I'll probably just go get some hay bales and sh you know shake them out real good try to get all the seed out and heavily put hay I mean straw on these beds then I'm gonna get some more mulch and put under this really thick and really thick back here in my vining bed and over here um, I think I'm gonna buy one more peach tree because if you have more than one fruit tree even if it's self-pollinating if you have more than one then they're always gonna be more productive even when it says self-pollinating so I'm gonna plug in one more peach tree right back here when we first moved to this property I guess it was lined with peach trees but they all died out and there was one and then I cut it down it looked sickly so I'm gonna kind of give it a new life and try some more peaches I have a peach tree in the far corner by the chickens and I'm gonna have one in this far corner so and then, like when it comes to the dogs area uh, yeah I'm just gonna put a lot more mulch down in here um, I'm probably gonna take a little, little bit more away from them and make this spot bigger so that I can plant beds along the side of the house and maybe put like a little archway right here with roses look at them what is it, Milo? What is it? It's the dog days of summer. <laughs> but yeah, not working at that job enables me to spend more time with my kids and focus on the garden and all of our business endeavors that we want to do. And, and it'll be good. All good things will come. But thanks for hanging out with me.